Good morning there, YouTubers and Weavers. Um, just a short video to give you an update, let you know that I'm still alive and kicking, semi-vertical and semi-coherent. Um, I am working on a weaving project. I'll show it to you in just a second. It's, um, I'm, I'm weaving a set of towels, no surprises there. What's different this time is that I am using hemp as my warp and my weft for the most part. Um, so it's 10 to hemp, 100% hemp wet spun, 2700 yards per pound and I had a couple of one pound cones, they cost me $24 each. I bought them from the Weaver's Loft. Um, it's in Indiana. Weaver'sLoft.com. I didn't go to their website to buy it. I bought this at the Wisconsin Sheep and Wool Festival. They had a booth there last fall, and I bought it thinking I'm going to try something different. I'm not sure if I like this or not yet. It's, it's, it has a very rough feel to it. So, and rough is the, the best word I can think of. Coarse, maybe, would be another way of saying it. So, anyways, let's, I don't know if this will focus, but. There you go. That's what I'm working with. This comes, let me grab this. There's, and I've already taken some off of here, so that's what it looks like. Let's, um, basically what I'm doing is a plain weave. Um, the towels are 23 inches wide in the reed, and I'm uh, doing 32 inches long under tension. 10, no, 20 ends per inch in the reed. And I'm putting a border that's about eh, three or four inches, maybe five, I don't along uh, on each end of the towel in overshot. So I'll aim the camera down in a second and show you what that looks like. The overshot, I've already woven past it. You see it on the, the bottom after it goes around the breast beam, but um, that's the project. Let's take a look at a little bit of weaving. So, this is difficult to show, but I don't know if you can see this real well, but you see all this loose threads? Every once in a while this thing starts spinning and I get a lot of what I think of as backlash. Um, loose, it spins too much on here and it keeps spinning and starts to unwind a little bit. And that slows me down. I don't know if a different kind of shuttle, <coughs> maybe an end feed would do better, but this is the kind of shuttles that I've got and this has been a problem with this particular thread all along and I'm not sure 
of a good way to resolve this issue and make it work better. If anybody has worked with hemp and can make a suggestion to how to resolve this kind of loose, I don't know, can you see it there? It doesn't show up real well, but I can see it really, well, it's, it's terrible. You can see the loose threads there, and those get caught, and a real first class pain in the seat of the pants, because now look at this. I'm going to pull it off and just try and straighten it out and rewind to, to tighten it up a little bit and then go back in and weave again. This has been slowing me down on this project and I'm just not sure what I think of working with this hemp because of this. So. haven't decided if I'm going to put this video up right away or if I'm going to wait until I am done with these towels so I can get them in the wash and do kind of a wet finish on them. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping this stuff will soften up a little bit, kind of like linen from a good wash, but it, it is a rough feeling uh, thread and a rough feeling cloth. I like the, the color of it, I like the looks. Like I said, I did this at <coughs> 20 ends per inch. Part of me thinks I should have done it at 24, um, but because I was doing the excuse me, the overshot, I didn't want it too elongated. So that's why I went with the 20. And I think it'll be okay. You can kind of see the overshot down there. Anyways, that's enough for now. Again, I'm just letting you know that I'm still kicking around and still weaving. Bye-bye for now.